Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here's somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, you, um, you've got to train yourself to be able to recognize that, that this block here is easily, in, uh, is, it can be easily integrated. Because, um, because if you look at this, hang on, this block here, this block here is near enough the exact derivative of this block here. So, so you should see this collectively as a block and, uh, and that this block can easily be integrated. For example, if I were to give you something like this, sine, uh, to the power of 3 of x and ask you to differentiate this then uh, well then then you would visualize it like this sine of x to the power of 3 well if you differentiate this it will be it will be 3 and then the bubble stays intact um, uh, squared and then you've got to time to the derivative of the bubble which is cos uh, cos of x uh, so 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 this cos of x here is pretty much the same as this so you've got to train yourself to be able to recognize that this can easily be inter integrated and then looking at this here this can be easily differentiated so here you should have a clue that um, that you should use the uh, you should use integration by by parts so to integrate to integrate this um, train yourself to, to recognize that this thing here can easily be integrated this here is easily different it can easily be differentiate you can easily differentiate it so uh, so use integration by by parts. So let u be x and let uh, v prime be this whole block here. This whole block here. So so if u equals x then 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 u prime would be one. If v prime equals uh, equals this then then integrate it, it will then give you this. So now uh, now blindly follow this. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So that would be a third x sine to the power 3 of x and then minus minus the integral it's saying u prime times v u prime times v so uh, so that would be uh, a third uh, sine to the power 3x dx you see this is slightly simpler to to integrate well put everything back put everything into there and then this whole thing here will then become this will then become this so now uh, factor out the third, factor out the third, and then and then visualize visualize this thing here as as a uh, as sine squared times sine. So whenever you see whenever you see sine squared or cos squared, you should you should think about this. Um, uh, well, you, you should think about this first. But in this case, in this case, to integrate this, we don't use this. Normally we Normally, when you see sine squared of x, you should think about this. But in, in this case, we don't need this. It is this that we need. So put put this into into um, sine squared. So uh, so this thing here will then become this. Will then become this. So now um, now you could uh, you could again train yourself to recognize that um, hang on that uh, that this thing here is the is is the exact derivative near enough the exact derivative of this thing here so um, so yeah so here you got to train you you just got to train yourself to to be able to recognize that um, that this is near enough the derivative of this so you should you should um, you should do this hang on so so here you got to train yourself to be able to recognize that this is near enough the derivative of this so you should be able to jump to this so you should let uh, let let a new variable be cos be, be this thing here then then later your your dw will contain this sign thing here okay and then it will cancel itself out well recognize recognize that this thing here is near enough the derivative of this thing here so let u be be so let w be this thing here then, uh, then dw equals this thing here. Then dx equals this thing here. So we can put this into the dx, and then later on, this thing would cancel out with this. Okay. Well, put this into here, and then this whole thing here will then become, will then become this, will then become this. So now this would cancel out with this, 
Uh, factor out the minus 1, so that will then become a plus. So that thing there, uh, this thing here, will then become this thing here. Now this uh, this is easy to integrate. It's really the, the sum of two parts, so so it's easy to, to integrate. So integrate it, it will then give you this. And then earlier we said let w be cos of x, so we can put it we can put cos of x back into the w and into w here. So this is your final answer. Okay.